All right, good afternoon, everybody. All right, let's talk about eBay today. Let's talk about eBay, and specifically eBay and comic books. We're gonna talk about eBay and comic books today. Now, I know I've seen some folks out there doing videos, and some people have a lot of uh, a lot of different opinions on eBay. Some people think it's great. Some people think it's horrible. Some people think you should not sell on eBay. Some people sh say you should. Blah 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 blah. I, for myself personally, I'm going to tell you I like eBay. And the funny thing is, I was not an eBay guy back in the day when it first started. Now, remember, I'm an old guy, so, you know, I've been around for a little bit. Um, you know, at first, I thought eBay was strictly for people that wanted to find, um, you know, a one of Elvis's brushes with two hairs in it or something like that. And they were selling on eBay for some ridiculous price. I thought it was to find stuff like that, like just kind of weird stuff and just kind of quirky things, you know? I didn't really think of eBay as being a viable shopping option for myself, personally. Um, now, is eBay still that? Well, yeah, it is, because, <laughs> you know, I've seen some pretty strange, odd things on eBay that um, that are, some are cool and some are mind-boggling to me. But um, the great thing about eBay, eBay is a great place for collectors, collectors of everything. Um, myself, personally, I've sold some stuff on eBay. Um, I've sold uh, some 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 toys that I've had from back in the day, um, and I was surprised to see how much the money they fetched. You know, so you know that's something I've talked about a little bit in some videos, and I'll talk about some more in some of the videos uh, specifically. But um, but I like it. <clears throat> and uh, besides the selling por portion of it, you know, the shopping part part I do like as well. I don't do a lot of it to be honest with you. I don't buy a lot of stuff on eBay. Um, you know, but I do go on there a lot looking for things to kind of compare prices, especially when it comes to comic books. Because before I buy it from my local comic book store, which I want to give them first crack at it, before I buy it from them, I do check to see what it's going for on eBay and how much I can get it for. And of course, on eBay, you have to pay shipping charge a lot of times. And sometimes people have free shipping, but of course, you know, that's kind of rolled into the price of it as well. So I do you know, check on them to get the price. And then I try to check with my local comic store to see what they've got it for. Because like I said, I like to give the local guys, you know, a shot at it first. Um, I do like to support my local comic shop. Contrary to what some of the people might say out there, whatever, you know, they've been around a long time. They're hanging in there and, you know, they've done good by me. And, uh, you know, I know there's some complaints about some things that happen at comic stores. I get it. Um, but, you know, each store is going to be a little different. Um, but you know, that being said, not everything that I'm looking for, I can find at my store. They just don't have it there. It's just not, it's not possible. They, they can't have everything that's out there versus what's going on in the World Wide web. So, um, that's what I like to do. I like to go and see what's going on. Now, the one thing that I find a lot of, and I'm going to go and open this right now. While I'm talking about it. One thing that I find a lot of on eBay, of course, are variants and everyone knows that variants, um, Sometimes the best place, sometimes the only place to get them is eBay. Um, so just getting different cover options. And I'm going to do a video maybe someday about some of the stuff I found eBay. Some covers that I didn't even know existed. You know, and that's the other good part about eBay is that I can go on there. I can search for something and then something will come up that I have never seen before. That I didn't know about a cover. And it could be maybe a... Um, uh, what do you call it, an exclusive, or it could just be a cover that I just didn't know about, you know? Um, and that's what's great about it. If you're looking for variant covers, that is the best part about eBay. You can find almost every variant you need. Now, how much you can pay for it, that's a whole other thing too. Um, but listen, if your local shop doesn't have it and nobody else has got it, what are you going to do? You know, um, the title of the video says, what do we do before eBay? And that's the thing. I don't even know what I did before eBay. Um, if I was looking for a comic book back in the day before eBay and all these other websites, um, if you're hunting, and the hunt was real back then. I mean, as far as hunting, I mean, what we guys, what we do now isn't really hunting. I mean, it's pretty easily accessible to find what you want, just how much you want to pay for it. Um, but I'm talking just finding something in general. Back in the day, you know, you had your comic book store and maybe you had another comic book store that was a little further out. Maybe you had a couple options that way. Maybe you can travel back and forth. But as a kid and you don't have your own car, you know, and you got to rely on your parents, driving around town looking for an issue of Incredible Hulk isn't going to happen all the time, you know. It wasn't until I was older 
and I have my own vehicle, I can kind of drive around and kind of search these things out. But even then, you couldn't really find everything. And then the other option, well, probably the best option, were conventions. Um, now, we used to have a lot of conventions in town. They weren't these big Megacon, um, Comic-Con, New York Con, whatever. It was just like a little thing in maybe a little hotel, a holiday in somewhere. We had a bunch of comic book guys, a bunch of boxes. And that's where I was able to find a lot of stuff. Uh, again, price was the issue, but I found a lot of cool stuff at conventions. And the conventions back then, like I said, were a little different, I think. They were smaller, um, more, of course, combo driven, of course. Not so much with uh, worried about television shows and movies, stuff like that. It was about comic books. And, um, you know, those were those were the days, you know. But uh, that's what we did before eBay. We had to go to conventions and we had to drive from store to store to store to try to find things. Now it's a lot easier. So um, I'm just – my little eBay rant today was because, you know, there was a book that I was looking for. I could not find at the store. The store was, was sold out. The other store was sold out. Every store was sold out. The only place I can find it – and it's not even – it's not even like a, a limited edition. It's not, I mean, I'm sorry, like a, like a, a, sorry, ratio or anything like that. It was just a book that got hot. Okay. And I couldn't find it. So I know there's probably going to be a um, second print of it, but I won the first print. And it was this book right here. Okay. You guys heard me talk about it a couple months ago. I saw this image in preview magazines. I thought it was a great looking cover. I, I love the look on it. And I just kind of, I, I had to have it. Also, I wanted to start reading this series. I know I'm a little late in issue eight, but um, hey, got to start somewhere. So I grabbed this one off eBay and got a pretty good price on it. I got two of them actually, okay? I got two of them. I got two of the same book. I don't normally do that, but I dug it and I'm thinking about actually sending one of these off to CGC and get it actually slabbed. Um, Look, again, this is not necessarily um, a key issue or some kind of, um, you know, very expensive, valuable book. It's just a book that I like, and I think that I might want to go ahead and put this on a slab and just keep it like that. I have one copy to read, and I have one copy to put on a slab. And I'm also curious to see what the book that's never been touched by me or by anybody in my household, just the folks at the comic store that sent it to me, what kind of grade I can get on a book like this. Um, to see if I can get something high. So I might actually send this off and get it graded. And while I was there on this gentleman's uh, page on eBay, I w here's another book that I was looking for that I could not find. Um, these uh, throwback covers, I love them. And um, I like this one a lot. I love it. It's a Frank Miller throwback um, with, Frank, with uh, Frank Cho, who is, you know, an awesome artist, you know. And I love the way this came out. Again, could not find this at my local store. I tried. He, my local store's got a couple of different brand um, locations. They just didn't have it. So I had to go to eBay. Neither of these books cost me a ton of money. Okay? They cost me a little more. Actually, I think it cost me cover price. But I did have to pay shipping. Okay? Which, um, which is the thing. Now, shipping, of course, depending on what you're going to get. If you get one book or two books, it can get kind of expensive. Usually if you get a couple books, it kind of pays for itself a little bit, kind of balances out a little bit. But listen, if I had to drive around town to try to find these, it probably cost me the same amount of shipping as it did in gas, to be quite honest with you. Okay? So this is my little rant about eBay. I just want to share this with you guys. And um, like I said, we're going to send one of these off possibly and see if we get a good grade on it. So we're done with this portion of the video. Let's move on. All right, guys, time to give away some comic books. All right, so what we're, we're going to do is um, I need you guys to go ahead and put a comment below and for this video, for this video, okay? Give me a comment, and if you are a subscriber, I will go ahead and put your name in that awesome little cowboy hat I have, and we'll do a little drawing the next video and find out who gets a free set of comic books. Um, once again, they're going to be comics out of my collection here, my personal collection, whatever I got here. And uh, I'll put some stuff together in a box or a package, and I'll send out to you free of charge, okay? We're going to do this once a month. And so, uh, you know, just, of course, you know, stay tuned, stay subscribed. And once a month, we will go ahead and give away some free comic books, all right? Cost you nothing. 
So let's go ahead and open up this Moon Knight pack because you guys know I am Moon Knight rich when it comes to these packs. I had a location here close to me that had tons of them, so I bought a couple of them. And uh, of course, Moon Knight's gonna be one of the books that you're gonna get in the package as well, along with some other comic books to go with that. Okay, so let's just open this real quick and see what else is in here. Doesn't mean you're gonna get everything that's in this pack, but you will get that Moon Knight. Okay. So having seen new books and new packs in the last couple weeks, and trust me, I go all the time. I go every day. No DC and no Marvel yet. So we'll keep going. We'll keep looking. Hopefully they'll pop up soon. Because you know it gets really exciting when they come out with those packs. All right. Oh boy. Okay. So we have our Moon Knight, and you know I gotta apologize ahead of time. This one is not in great shape. The corners don't look too hot here. It's not terrible, but it is not in the best of shape. In fact, it looks like this whole pack might be a little rough. Okay. Apologize in advance, but uh, hey, listen, it's free. <laughs> you know, if it's free, give me three. That's what I say. All right. So I'll put the Moon Knight to the side here. Ah, Demon Days, Blood Feud. Why do I feel like I've had this book? Um, I like Peter Moko. I love her work. Um, I don't think I have this particular one. I have a Demon, da Demon Days comic, but I don't think I have the Blood Feud one. So, interesting. Like I, said, I like Peach and Milk. I like the stuff she does. And last but not least, dag, another Dark Ages number six. Man. Okay, well, it is what it is. So, this pack, I got one book out of three that I'm going to dig. So, all right, cool. Well, looks like someone will also be getting a Dark Ages number six as well because I don't need to keep a couple of these around. So this will also go into that box as well. So, or I'm sorry, the uh, the packaging. Okay, I'm not sure if it's going to be a box or if it's going to be one big thick envelope. But either way, you're going to get some free books. So once again, guys, comment. Be a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, go subscribe because I'm going to pick from that list. I'm going to match with the subscribers and the comments. And I will pick a name out of the hat that awesome little cowboy hat and send you guys out some books until then you guys have a great night and i will see you next time